Well, of course, uh, the Nigerian Criminal Code Section 357 provides that any person who has unlawful cardinal knowledge of a woman or girl without her consent or with her consent, if the consent is obtained by force or by means of false and fraudulent representation as to the nature of the act or in the case of married woman by personating her husband is guilty of an offense which is called rape. Now, riding on this premise, many have come to point out that sexual intercourse between a husband and a wife under any circumstance cannot constitute a rape offense. Hence the question, is there rape in marriage? Join the debate as we welcome two irreconcilable and highly opinionated guests on this episode of The Big Issue. So I have Ololade Okedare, a girls' and women's rights advocate and the author of the novel Catching Grace, a book that centers on marital and paternal rape, saying any sexual act devoid of mutual consent, even in marriage, is rape. Come on, put your hands together for her. Fantastic. You can do better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Thank you. Well, of course, on the other side of the argument is Muritala Odutayo, a social political analyst, confidently saying it's a taboo for anyone to claim rape in marriage. Come on, put your hands together for him. <laughs> if you can give her a double accolade, he deserves another one, too. <laughs> All right, for those of you at home, I know that feeling when it comes to subject matters like this, but it's about time to sit down, relax. If you've got popcorn, fine, pop it away, and let's have fun right now. But right now, it's going to be very deep because uh, I think I'll go with the man first. Thank you for coming. Nice to have you. you. Now, you. how do you begin? How do you start quickly? Well, for me, there is nothing like a rape, and there can never be anything like a rape in marriage. Okay. I want to tell those that heard it especially, please, I need your attention. We are Nigerians. We are Africans. This so-called rape in marriage is coming from, you know, when I put my hand there somewhere, you know what I'm talking about. She's representing them. <laughs> so as an African, as a Nigerian, mm. there is nothing like a rape. It is crystal clear there can never be rape in marriage. A woman, for God's sake. talking about, I seek, I seek a consent. Proposal sought. She accepted my proposal. Most time, most of this so-called proposal is done in the open. Do you like him? Do you want him? Have you heard him? Hello, kiss your bride. And I do that. <laughs> so if I'm, I have done that, mistakenly done that, I've been able to have this loving so-called woman in my life. So how come you're talking about rape? <laughs> That's not like rape in my life. Hello, Rabbi, you heard him. The way he actually t uh, kicked off. We want to hear your own side of the story quickly. Okay, I think it is preposterous that you would think that rape in marriage is an idea that came from the Western world. So marriage is a union of two partners, two friends, two people who love one another, who understand one another, and to have a force sexual intercourse on the other partner is definitely rape. Rape simply means there is no consent from the other party. Okay. And well, I know it's very unusual. There, it might be a woman to a man and then the other way around too. But what I'm trying to say is this. When a man asks his, you know, asks his spouse okay. you know, for sex and she declines, there must be a reason. Okay. The question is, what sort of leader are you? Are you a leader who seeks to understand the reason why your partner does not want to have sex at that point in time? Are you willing to listen to her? Slave trade has been abolished. Why? Because no human being is meant to be subservient to the other. Yeah. So marriage is a union of two equal partners. Right. Two equal partners in marriage. That means you seek her consent, you seek her opinion, you seek to please her the same way she seeks to please you. I'm a faith-based person, and it says submit you one to another. That means it's not just the wife who is subservient or submits to the husband, the husband does likewise. Thank you. There is no way to marry. Now, uh, 
You heard her. She said submission. I think we should underline that word there. We should submit to one another for harmony to thrive, for peace to reign, and for love to be beautiful. Now, you are saying there is no rape in marriage. She has cited an example. There are moments when the woman doesn't feel like having it, and you are on the roll to go. Now, how do you come to terms with that reality of not committing rape in that instance? In fact, that is a very simple thing to do. For me, if the woman is not ready, I, she said something now, consent. How many kind of time am I going to seek her, seek her consent? Haven't I been able to, I mean, I mistakenly talked to a decent lady. Nobody was there, okay? At times prostrated before, before in laws. At times, you know, paid through my nose to pay the bright, bright, bright price, so to speak. Yeah. How many times am I going to seek your consent for God's sake? Yeah. If, for instance, <laughs> then please, listen. If, for instance, there's a problem at a particular time, you don't want to go in. All right. Use the bedroom for voice. Hmm. You will have bedroom voice. Hmm. Hello, my dear, that's a problem for now. I need to be in the right, the right term mind for me to be, be, be with you. It's okay. a very simple thing. But claiming your right, what kind of right am I? I mean, it is their own, so, I mean, it's never with us. Okay. It has been with those guys, and we should at least, allow, I mean, allow them to be with them. It's never part of Africa. It's not in Nigeria. That's not like rape in marriage. I have seen your consent, so be it. Hmm. If you're not in the mood, let me know. It's simple. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so how do, you, how do you tackle him now? So I think that marital rape is very real, and it is a disease of this patriarchal society. Hmm. This same Africanism that makes a man think that when he has paid by bride price for a woman, suddenly she has become what? His possession. That is not true. And the sad part is, there are outright rapes when a man tells the husband, I mean, sorry, a man tells his wife that I want this and I want it now. And there are even other ones, that's, that, that's even more pathetic. Right. Those are the silent rapes. When a woman does not even know she has the right to say no, and so she's suffering in silence. There are many reasons why a woman might not want to have sex at a point in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been, very, uh, from the way he's talking, you can see that uh, <clears throat> we might need to uh, <clears throat> give him a bit of uh, you know, training on emotional intelligence. Because a woman has, you know, she has feelings, she has emotions, right. and sex is not just a physical act. It's a combination of psychological, <laughs> emotional, physical act. That is what comes into the combination of love making. We have a problem in society where we don't realize that there's a difference between having sex and making love. And a woman is always at that point where she wants to make love to her husband. Sex for a wife. I submit to you, I submit to you that sex for a wife is love making. And it's an expression of her love to her husband. So when a man just grabs the wife, like she's just an object, and then just wants to go and have his way, the woman feels it, you know, an emotional disconnect from him. Mm -hmm. And what she wants is love. So he is asking for a bedroom voice. The question is, did you use a bedroom voice when you were asking yourself? OK. OK, before, 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 before I come to you, now, we understand that marriage is honorable. OK. And in most cases, a woman will seek to, you know, satisfy her man anytime, any day, no matter what. Why is the, woman not, the man not satisfying the wife anytime, I'm, any day? I, I'm coming. OK. I'm coming. Now, when we cite an instance like this, okay. you discover that you said something now. There are times when the woman does not want to have no. sex. We understand that. Now, he, he actually said it to a large extent that, look, I have married you honorably. I have, I have done the right things I needed to do. On the day of the oath taking, it was for better for worse and Good. your commitment to him and all that. I mean, how do you now come to terms when you see him unhappy? And you know that what will make him happy is your beautiful, you know, moment of consent. I mean, why would you withhold consent from him at that time when he needs to be satisfied? Okay, very good. You just said for better and for worse. What constitutes worse? There are situations where health challenges will not even allow a woman, you know, permit a woman to have sex. But in this case, we've not cited any health no, no, challenges so No, I'm just so saying, far. so for better or for worse, so she could be psychologically unavailable, physically tired, she's done chores, she's gone to work, she's tired, and what she needs to do is rest. Would you not, you know, be patient and wait? May I ask the man, when a wife comes to meet you, because this is about satisfying one another, right? So when your wife comes to meet you and then she says, I need money for so, 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 and so, 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 and you do not have the money, what do you expect her to do at that point in time? Be patient, understand you? So why would you not do the same thing when it comes to sex? 
All right, Rita, you heard him. You heard her, right? Well, for me, um, wives generally, like I told you, if, I, if, we, if we conduct a, what is called referendum now on this uh, topic, okay. I'm going to tell you, eight out of, out of ten is going to fight you for insulting them. A typical Nigerian wife and woman, in fact, if you, in case you don't know, have you got extra mile to get Abu Jedi, Abu whatever, to make sure their wife, I mean, their husband is ready for them any time. <laughs> They're almost ready. So I, I, don't, I don't go with you. In fact, in case you don't know, oh hello, in case you don't know, there has been, in fact, there's some spiritual angle to it. Some mm. of them have gone extra mile to, I mean, to meet their pastors. Hello, my husband is not doing the right thing. What do I do? Mm. What kind of, how many times do you want me to seek your consent? I've been asking you that question. Were you forced? Okay, I told you, we're Africans. We're not, in fact, look from your side. Women are very cheap. I'm talking of the Western countryside, but that's, that, that's what I'm saying. They're very cheap. Within seconds, within minutes, they give in. In Nigeria, an average man goes extra mile to have a woman. How come I will rape the same man woman I so much cherish? We love a woman, we don't rape a woman in Nigeria. And that's the point. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Okay. He said in the Western world that okay. you know happens to be you know so crazy where people try to you know imitate them these days. You find out that it's quite easy you know accosting a woman. They have laws that actually guide them a lot. Okay. You can't do anything out of context. We've had cases of sexual offenders every now and then, unlike what we have in parts in this world. But he's saying in this part of the world we show that respect. We go through the normal procedures. We we, we consult in-laws. You know, we have people come around to even convince the family that look, this man is interested in having this woman. Now he's saying, how can I finally you know have this woman in my custody and still you know think of raping her. Is it possible to have, to rape a woman like that? Okay, so let me educate you. Many men have this mindset, but because she's my wife, she gave consent on the wedding day, it automatically means that she cooks for me, she cleans for me when I want sex, you know, she gives it to me. So the point is this, there are a lot of women going through psychological abuse, emotional abuse, they are suppressed, oppressed and depressed because they've been told that they cannot say no at any point in time to anything. And I'm not just talking about sex now. Like I said before, marriage is a union of two partners. And that means that in everything, not just sex, in everything, childbearing, um, you know, where you, you're going to stay, your location, job, whatever it is, including sex, it should be a continuous consent, a continual mutual agreement between the two parties. At no time should the man think that because he is head of the home, Head without a neck, I mean, is nothing. So you need a neck. So let, let's let's um, let's 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 um, compare the woman to the neck of the man. So you 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 are the head. Yes, you have. You want this. You want that. But at the same time, you've got to be conscious of the you know the the, the flows and the moods of the woman. Does the neck want to go this way? Can it go that way? Can you twist your neck to the back? No. It means you need to be patient. Take her along with you. You are like a driver of the car. But if your passenger is not you know is not um, in agreement with where you're going. There's going to be a crash in that car. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. There's going to be a crash in that car. Now, I, I, want, to, I want to put this to you. Now, hear this. Now, sex was designed so that at the height of passion, we lose control. We become supremely vulnerable. This is about forging a deep connection with one another and you know, the, the fellow human being. It's a height of passion. At that point, you both are together. You lose control. That's how it's meant to be. Now, in a case where you find that this other partner is not ready to lose control and have it all the way with you and you are in control, how do you take care of a situation like that without, without, without calling it rape? That is a very simple, if she, she's talking, she doesn't understand Nigerian, Nigerian guys. Okay, tell me. Take for, take for instance the, the issue of a so-called xenophobic attack in South Africa. I've heard South African ladies saying, Nigerian guys knows how to pamper a woman. Hmm. In fact, especially the Yubo brought by my brothers. They don't. What they do, in case you don't know, some of them have even gone bankrupt. Okay? Some of them 
have lost everything just to have that darling person in their life. The way you are putting it, you are putting us as if you don't understand us. Oh, okay. And unfortunately, it seems you're not part of us. I think if I you're not part of, you. If you're not part of us, you can raise it like us. No, 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 no. So no, the no. point is that if I'm in, as an African man, we pamper ladies. No, when, no, no, no. Hello? Mm. When that lady's not ready, we know what to do. I have a wife. When she's not ready, I know what to do. What do you hello, do? Hello, listen. Listen. A reasonable, a reasonable and responsible wife okay. has a key to unlock any part in a man. Mm. <laughs> hey, 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 it's not a big deal that I mean. No, 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 this you don't understand us. This argument is hosting up already, but of course, we have to go on a very quick break. And when we return, it never it changes. Unlock my this is still the big <laughs> And that is the subject matter we are still tackling right now. And of course, my amazing guests here have been doing justice to it from the very start. And we are not done yet because we have to still go all the way. You said something before we went on that break that uh, apparently they don't understand the man. And that's why they would always come from that angle of rape. You, dis you wanted to actually tackle the rejoinder before we went on that break. I mean, yes. what were you hoping to uh, drop before okay. we, we hit that break quickly? So what I have to say is this. Most African men, and I say most because there are some exceptional cases, most African men are pretenders. So you start by toasting, wooing a girl, trying to get her consent, trying to get her to like you. You know, the, the, you know, the process of winning her trust, you know, takes time, takes process, and you're willing to wait through all of that. He mentioned that she would take that time to go to her parents, you know, meet her friends, take her out on a date, all in a bid to win her trust. Yeah. And then suddenly you get married and you do not want to go through that process. I think it is a falsehood. I think men, most African men are big pretenders. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to say, and I want to say, if you started, you know, with a process, a patient process of winning a woman's trust, then you must continue the same way in marriage. You must continue. Sex takes process. And the same way you waited to woo her, to, you know, to wait for her to like you, to wait for her to say yes, the same way you must wait for her to say yes in marriage. Come on, why are you guys not talking? <laughs> Hold it, no, hold it, hold it. Is, is, is it because she's dropping a bomb on the men and that's why you guys are not clapping? Yeah. Come on, clap your hands together. Uh -uh. Well, I, let, let, me, let me come to you very quickly Thank before you. I hit him. Now, um, section, six, section six of the criminal code defines unlawful kind of knowledge okay. as that which takes place otherwise than between a husband and a wife and the offense is complete upon penetration. Mm -hmm. Now, in other words, Mar marital rape is not an offense in Nigeria. Yeah, very sad. A husband cannot rape his wife. It is assumed very that the sad. wife gives implied general consent to sexual intercourse with her husband upon entering the marriage contract. They want more. So now in this case, they want this more. is it's not it's not a crime in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And now you're here saying, come on. I mean, how do you win this argument before the world? Because it is assumed that upon entering that marriage contract, everything as to agreement as to how the both of you will have forever together has been sealed. Well, I'm afraid that law only holds in Nigeria, and it is time I'm that Nigeria. the Senate will pass that bill that marital rape is a crime. I'm Everywhere else in the world, in the US, in the UK, Scotland, oh. they've come to agree that there is marital rape you and see? that it exists and it is a crime and must be punished. Come on, guys, come on, put your hands together. I do not care how you feel. Put your hands together. <laughs> Now, uh, you, you, you heard her. Exactly, Ms. Moldridge. She said this okay. law must change. Now, the fact that it is not a crime in Nigeria, uh -huh. it shouldn't continue. Uh -huh. She is fighting and she's advocating for the women's uh -huh. rights. Uh -huh. A woman has a right to her body. Okay. That's what she's trying to say okay. right now. I mean, it, look, when you want to even enjoy that beautiful moment, you need to be in that frame of mind. Uh -huh. A woman feels to please my king. I need to be in charge. I need to be in that frame of mind. But in a case whereby I cannot hold that moment together, I cannot put things together. How do you contend with such reality? And why would you want to drive through because you are the man in charge? OK, let me take it from uh, this. I understand you perfectly where you're coming from. OK. You're not part of what I said it. She's not part of us. Now, audience, I want our audience to know this. This so-called 
sexuality and marriage in marriage started from Western countries. 1960-1970, especially the so-called second wave um, feminism group. So it's, it's never been part of us. I, I, I mean, I said it. There are a lot of junk I mean that is coming from your side, the Western countries, so to speak. One of the junks, gender equality in marriage. We're not equal in marriage. Somebody must take that final decision in marriage. There are a lot of nonsense you guys have sold to us. One of this, take, take for instance, in, in, more, in the modern world, we have, I mean, an average woman in marriage now who believes I look, you marry me, I marry you. That is crushing marriages a lot. They are drunks from you. And to add more to our problems, for you to know that what I'm talking about is completely from your own side. I give it to fella who, say, who said, teachers don't teach me nonsense. We don't even know what to believe anymore now. Okay. Now, in a real life, OK, when it comes to hard work, you're a man. Do it. When it comes to danger, facing danger, you're a man. Do it. When it comes to um, go to another terrible thing, you're a man. Do it. When it comes to, but when it comes to sharing the goodies, when it comes to sharing the gold, silver and pen, the Oyibo man will remind, more, will remind us of equality in the marriage. There's no equality there. So you are bringing a lot of junks. One of these, these so-called rape in marriage, is another junks from Western countries. Another one is this, the so-called human rights. Give it to Fela also. Fela said, you cannot determine my rights. Your feminism group is trying to determine the rights of my darling wife. In marriage. In that, now you want to tell my wife, my home, not yours. You want to tell my wife when to sleep with me, when to come around, when not to come around. You are the one creating confusion. <laughs> we love each other. We love each other. I, I, be, I beg to differ. Let, let me get this. The so-called hum, human right. Now, I said it. There should not be universal human right. Mm. Somebody cannot sit somewhere and determine the right of my mother in Abelkuta. <laughs> my mother that I know, please. My mother that I know does not want to be loved by another woman. My father that I know does not want to be loved by another, another man. It's not that thing. There is one more I do want to mention is her name, who is converting himself to, to a woman. And I thank, in fact, I want to use this opportunity to thank Nigerian federal government to say, this is not who we are. So raping marriage you are bringing is another junk. So mm -hmm. it's, kind of, it's not going to stay with us. And we are not going to allow it. Allowing it, we're, we're going to be doomed and ruined. I would have won that. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, before, before. Have you seen men who hide under the bed when they hear the sound of a gunshot? Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night. Come on, guys, yes. that's it. Country, who are breadwinners in their house, in their families, and they are doing a very great job. Yes. Uh, so I brought out the point, and I want to refute that point. And it said that Westernism, or you know, the Western world, is giving a voice to women. And the truth is, how many women in this part of the country, in this part of the world, have been given the right to voice their opinions? Many have not. Many have been silenced. Many do not even think that they have the right to speak. Please, how does it satisfy a man to have a woman lie like a cold fish while he goes in and out as though he's just riding, you know, a swing and the woman is not participating? How is that measurable? I'm a married woman. And I know that the, the, you know, the, the, the part of sex that is so enjoyable, that is so interesting, so thrilling, is when I meet my husband thrust for trust, passion for passion, strength for strength, force for force. It is selfish. It is selfish. It is a basal, selfish desire of a man to think that he can take a woman who has brains who may expect to be intelligent enough to make a meal that will not poison him? Mm -hmm. And then yet he wants her to lie down the bed and just be passive. No it doesn't work no that way. You heard everything she has said. Uh, In fact, she has, she, has, she has broken the table. Exactly. She has completely ruined the table. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you come back from this crazy... There's no, uh, there's no, there's no build deal. She's not making any point here different. This, I, I called it, I mean, a friend in the in US to ask, please, when it comes to marry, how do you manage a family? She told me that this is a woman 
this a man thing. In US, hmm. you are going to bring your credit card and bring mine. But in Nigeria, man does almost everything. Hmm. In fact, in fact, that is not a point. Wait. You contradicted yourself. No, 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 wait. You have contradicted Hello. yourself. Hello. We'll get there. Just yeah, hold let's it go. Hello. Hold it for him. Okay. My point. What I am saying is this. A man does almost everything for his wife. Since when? You don't understand us. Unfortunately, you don't understand an African man, a Nigerian man. In fact, statistics, uh, statistics have shown that, look, most of men die while trying to provide for What's the, the wife? family. And that is reality. Hmm. A typical, in fact, you have more or less, in fact, that is the problem in South Africa now. Nigerians, in fact, they are there to take off almost all their women. Why? They know how to do it. No. We don't force women. We are getting us around. Maybe, maybe, those are men you are referring to are from the UK, like you said, no. America, France. <laughs> if it is typical Nigeria man, in fact, we have brought grown a lot. We are ready to do more for our wife, not to rape them. Mm. That's the point. Sorry, I need to. I will get this to you. Hold it, hold it. Fantastic. I need to ask a very, very pivotal and you know very important question. Your game. Is sex cultural? Game sex game. in Nigeria is it different from sex in America? Hello. Is sex cultural? Yes. How I'll is sex cultural? Thank you. All right. Thank Sorry, you. Hold on. And this okay. is what I mean. All right. Sex. When I mean the act of sex itself, the act of intercourse itself. How is it cultural? Hmm. So a man and a woman comes together, they are attracted to one another, they, you know, they're in the mood for sex, and they go through the motions. Please, how is that different in France from the way it is different in Nigeria? Okay, let and me answer you. Ask All right. Let me answer you. Put your hands together. That's a vital question. Thank you very much. All right. Let me answer you. Please, a typical Nigerian African man. Okay. When it is time for you to get married, mm -hmm. you go to traditional uh, best stuff. If I write at the marriage venue, you have been taught some basic things. Mm. Whenever your husband is there, I mean, ready. Uh, don't, do not by mistake. <laughs> do what is uh, funny to this man uh, as far as sex is concerned. In fact, for me, I believe the most important, um, the two brilliant important things in marriage, food and sex. So if you now deny me of those things, and you come back here to say, to say there's a problem, if you don't give it to me, as at the right time, somebody else will do. Which is wrong. I'm going to get married. Which is wrong. It is, which is very, very wrong. So it's, your duty, it's your, so it's your duty, it's your duty to do that. Let me tell you this. I don't know your own side. As far as Nigeria is concerned, if a man does not turn up in two, three days, wives complain. Yes. Hmm. They want to like, what is going on? So I don't know, I don't know where you are bringing this. You don't understand Nigerian men. You don't understand like, typical Nigerian women. They get worried when that thing is not coming. Hmm. We don't rape them, we love our woman. And here, please listen. I don't have an issue when a woman, a man loves his woman into consenting to have sex. Let's not get it wrong. Mm. There's no even argument Marriage, there. weddings now, There's because you've been mentioning weddings. You keep on talking about the act, the wedding itself. Yeah. Weddings are cultural, but a marriage is not. Mm. A wedding is simply the ceremony, and that is dependent on the laws of the land. It's dependent on the cultures and the society involved. But the marriage itself is patterned according to a mutual agreement between the man and his wife. And it is not dependent on where you live or not, your location or not. Mm. And the same thing, hold on. Okay. And the same way with sex. And I keep saying this, sex is not just a physical act. It is a total combination of a lot of factors. Lot of factors. And I dare say that sex is not just, raping sex is not just about, oh, I want sex now and I don't want it now. I'm saying that the timing is involved, you know, the style is involved. There are a lot of factors involved. We know. In having sex. We know. You don't need to teach us that. And so I don't have a problem when a we man know. loves his wife enough for her to say yes. But when a wife says no, the question is, if you're chewing a head and a head should be concerned about about its body, you should want to know why. Hmm. And if you are concerned about her, yes, Come on, you should. Come on, clap, clap. What's going on here? And there is something wrong. And there is something he doesn't know. All right, so there is something he doesn't understand. Okay. There is no woman, no woman, 
who does not like sex if the man is doing it well? The question is, have you been doing it well? <laughs> let's get there. So let's get there. Has she been enjoying the sex? Please, who likes ice cream? And then someone's another high when, they, when ice cream passes by. No way. So the question is, dear man, dear husband, have you been pleasuring your wife? What is being doing? Has she been enjoying this sex? When she says no, are you ready to give her a warm, nice massage oh. and tell her how to do it? is going to say no to that. Mm. So the question is, how have you that's been doing true. it that's that she true. has been saying no? Mm. That's, that's Fantastic. Yeah, that's come on, put your hands together once again. <laughs> oh my goodness. The tables have been broken. I don't know if these tables will be repaired, but we are going on this break. I want to return with sweet guests to the members of the audience for, to, for, for their questions. This is still the big issue. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. You are still on to the big issue. Now the big question remains, is there rape in marriage? Or Lola Day is saying the fact that you have paid your buy price does not give you the express, you know, uh, leeway to have my body anytime you wish. And of course, Murita Lai is saying, look, I have done the necessary things. I have gone through the rudiments. I've gone through the process. There shouldn't be anything called rape in marriage. I know the audience have been, you know, they've been uh, warming up to, uh, to weigh in on this debate quickly. And let's quickly switch guests to them. I know you're already interested in this. All right, who's gonna go first? I'll ask you this question. If, for example, you're in the mood and the man is not in mood, but you have to just give yourself to him, despite that part is kind of dry, but you just have to give yourself to him, what do you call that? Is that rape or what? Mm -hmm. At that point where the woman decides to submit to the person, and I think you got it wrong, you mean she's not in the mood and he's in the mood, that's what you're trying to say, okay. Mm -hmm. At that point where she decides consciously, deliberately, by herself, to give in to the process because she understands, because she loves him, because she wants to give him pleasure, that is a point of compromise, and that is very allowed in marriage. That is not rape. But mm. she's not enjoying it, but she just has to give herself. There are times when even as a wife, you will cook meals that you might not like for the family because your husband likes it. And there are times the man can do things that he might not like because his wife, li you know, his wife likes it. That is called compromise in marriage. It is needed for progress in marriage. Come on, so I'm come saying on, that's come very on. Come on. That answers your question. My name is Gozier. Okay. I want to ask you a question. All right, quickly. As a man, what do you think is the best thing to do? When your wife decides to have sex with you, good. What do you think? What What is best thing to do? All right. Okay. What is What is best? Uh, for for, is for me, for me, there is no there's no problem when she is not ready. Like I said, a woman can use bedroom voice. Man can use bedroom voice. There are different ways to tell a woman that look, there's no problem. You are safe with me. Do it in such a way that the woman will understand you. Do it in such a way that the man will understand you. When you talk about, in fact, I've said it. I mean, when you talk about relationship or marriage, it's a black market thing. Mm. Nobody knows. Mm. It is you and I. Mm. So we can sort things out. All right. They are the one bringing unnecessary concept into our ladies. And when they do continue to do that, there will be more broken homes. Come on. And when you have broken homes, there will be problem in our journey. All There's right, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, my, my name is Murphy. Okay. okay. I want to ask a question. Okay. All right. Please do. You know, what if he needs sex mm -hmm. and you said, Oh, sorry, you, you need sex. And okay. he said, no. Okay. How do you feel? Okay, mm. so the point is this. If he says no, the first question is, 
what's happening? Are you tired? Is it been a you know, tough day at work? Maybe your boss bashed you at work and you're feeling you know, down? Or is there something wrong, especially when it is continuous? If it's a one-time thing, you should not be bothered. Mm -hmm. It is when it is continuous, when it is constant, when it has become every day that you should be bothered. At that point, let him rest. You could give him a nice warm massage. You know, by the time you are true mm -hmm. with a nice massage, mm -hmm. you give him mm -hmm. nice mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. he would get in the mood. Mm -hmm. Why do the men not do the same for the woman? A woman gave birth. Just gave birth gave, and she's not gave fit to and engage not in fit it. to have sex. And the man forced his way to have sex. Is that, what, what is it called? Have you ever seen that in Africa? It, yes, yes, it happens. Yes. Yes. Okay. It hello. happens, yeah. Hello, hello, if you, if that, if, hello. Come on, let him answer it. Hello, if you ever have a, that, such a thing in, in, in Africa, perhaps, perhaps, there is no good, I mean, uh, rapport between b both of them. Okay. If they have good rapport, both of them, it's, it will happen. Poor communication. No, it will not happen. We're Africans. We oh. know when the woman is oh. ready. Fantastic. Is it not my child? My question is this. Will it not be that we are promoting uh, infidelity? Because I want to go theological and religiously. According to Islamic uh, jurisprudence, mm. whenever you cite another woman outside and you lost after that woman, the, the solution to that is to go back to your own legal wife. And if your wife is that person that always complains, that is we are leading to what? That is leading us towards infidelity, mm. extramarriage affairs. Extra affair. So now, what would be the solution if you keep complaining of uh, uh, seeking consent on, on every time? So, what would be the solution to that? All right. yeah. So I say this, both parties should sit down. If this is a constant issue, both parties should sit down and you know, discuss why. Many women, I counsel married women, and one of the reasons why they run away from sex is because it's actually painful. Yeah. Most times the men do not wait enough for her to be ready, for her body to be ready. It's a physiological thing. Mm. And so it, it demands time and process. And so most men, most African men, Rush foreplay, and foreplay is necessary for a woman to get not just her emotions. Now I'm talking about her body. To relax. To relax for the juices, you know, to flow for, the for that flow. part to be lubricated to to ease move, uh, movements. <laughs> and many times men do not wait. Number one, they don't even understand their their wife's bodies. They don't even understand the, the biology, the anatomy of the wife's body. They, they, they don't even know the key points. They don't even know the key points. They don't even know the G. Wonderful. Sad, sad. It is about when they reach the peak of their satisfaction and then they roll off and go to sleep while the woman is left panting and in pains because her husband was not patient enough. Come on, guys, put your hands together. That's it. Fantastic. When a man, I must address this, this is very, very key. When a man waits enough to carry his partner along with him on the journey, oh. both of them will enjoy it. She will be the one chasing you. Hmm. You will run. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. What's going on? There is a part of that question that I must address because it is something that we do not do in Africa. We automatically assume that once a partner in marriage, I don't mean whichever sex, man or female, you know, when a partner in marriage is not agreeing or consenting to something, the partner has the right to go out to look for it. That is why you signed a marriage contract. It means that you cannot go out for it. Yeah. Don't use um, your partner's lack of consent to, to, to make that the excuse for your lack of self-control. Many easy. men lack self-control. You okay. should build self-control first and foremost. So what if she's out of the country? What, she, what if she's not around? And then you see a man, like you said, and then you see a woman, like you said, and then she's not at home to go home to. Well, so what do you do? Then you branch somewhere and then you have, say, does that justify the act? Thank you very much. Oh, no. Thank you very much. You see that? Quickly. All right, all right. Well, it, it appears I might have to come to you now. Okay. Quickly, before you ask your questions. Now, don't you think in cases where women do not yield in, t in, in, in moments of uh, canon knowledge, happens to have stemmed from realities of where the man has forcefully done it in the past? And that has built in her subconscious. And whenever the man is coming again, because of course she knows he would always come with that violent attitude, without, without, without uh, masculine power, and she just has no choice but to succumb again. And it gets to a point she tunes off. Nothing is enjoyable anymore because why? You have not been able to click that part that gets her up as a woman. So how do you address such that, an instance? That can only happen to a woman that does not understand her husband. Mm. 
That can only happen to a woman who does not understand what marriage is. What I'm saying is this: understand your man. When you understand, in fact, your past, your past uh, I mean, behaviors. You are saying my, understand your husband. No, no, I mean, the, the, what, your husband. What about the woman understanding the woman? It's a vice versa thing. What I'm saying is this: if I come, I mean, with, with an, an annoyance. That shows something that has have been happening in the marriage in the past. Hmm. It shows the kind of a woman you are. Hmm. I said it. A woman can unlock a man any time, any day. Yeah. So if you are a true, I mean, true woman, true wife, why, why violence? Hmm. Something I signed to? Hmm. Something you signed to? Hmm. We both agree? Why, why violence? Good. So I'm, if, for me to be violent on you, it shows you are not a good woman. Fantastic. You're not. He, he is violent so, on you. He has justified yeah. violence. You just said, you just said, I'm going to quote you, that for me to go violent on you, it is because you've not been a good woman. Violence can never and must never be justified oh. in any situation uh, at all. Uh, uh, and this brings me to a point. Most times, marital rape goes hand in hand. It's always a part and parcel of domestic violence. Because what happens... If you want to clap, clap. What's this? When two people are in the midst of, you know, are, are, are at the point where they should agree about, on something, and then one party does not, and then the man says, I want to have my way forcefully. Number one, you're going to hurt that woman. You're going to cause her pain. Many times it leads to beatings. Many times he has to slap her to submission. He has to, you know, some, some women have lost their pregnancies because of that. Are we justifying rape, violence, because the woman is not a good woman? Since when did that begin? All okay. Right. Okay, okay. Hold, hold it. Hold it. Um, Olalade. Yeah. If I get him correctly, he is saying, as a woman, you are the, you are the homemaker. Okay. And as a homemaker, you should ensure that peace thrives at all times. Yes. Now, he is saying, if the man is always angry, and this is a man who has never been angry all through the process of courtship, and suddenly he develops that anger it's while wrong. you guys are together, Something don't you think it should worry the woman to understand why my king is always like this? Mm. He is saying, if he is in that mood, what stops the woman from making the right moves okay. in unlocking those areas that makes that man always in that mood? I totally agree. Hold on. So I totally agree that as a woman, when you want to, you know, um, say no to something that your husband is saying, you should do it in a respectful way. You should present your um, reasons in a logical manner because men are more logical. So it's not just I'm tired and then there's no other reason. So, so I understand that. But I'm saying that most men have a problem of low self-esteem and no woman can help you with that. You have to handle it yourself. Why should you interpret um, so are you, wife, saying, are you saying a woman cannot build a man's esteem even when the esteem is not at the point where you expect it? A woman can only help you thus far. It is, it is a conscious thing that you must do. Yes. When a man begins to interpret his wife's no as you know, have been dis disrespectful as perhaps he's not man enough or perhaps he has lost his edge as a man, he tells me that he lacks self-control. I mean, sorry, he has a low self-esteem. Self and this is something that he by himself must sit down and work on. She cannot help him that oh, far because no, you are placing on her an, a burden that she cannot carry oh. by herself. Oh, it is not right. Thank you very much. Put your hands together. Now, I I'm trying to um, face the man, so to speak, no Mr. Mortala. Now, she made mention of um, rape of, um, of women in marriage, you know, and there's no law that is actually uh, punishing the offender, you know, so to speak. And you say that it's not our own thing, it's of the Western world. So I, I believe that women have been subjected to this type of abuse for a long time. Women and it's or high wife. time. So, sir, women or wife? Is it, are we talking okay, about wives? Wife or wi wives. Exactly. And they've been dying in silence, no voice, nobody to speak for them. So I think that this is high time for the government or those people, everybody, that's men, women, who believe that the right thing should be done. All right. This is the right time for them. Right. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Thank you very much. Can I respond to that? Okay, quickly. Finally. Yeah. Please, uh, most of those uh, uh, rules in Western country, they made their rules to suit their whole system. Mm. Now, you want us to make a rule, not minding our culture? No mind in our tradition. We spend a lot, even in marriage. The so-called Western world don't care. One of, I mean, one or two people can just go into, it, into each other, I love you, love you, love you. That, that's not the way we do our things. So when you are now bringing a, a rules, 
those that kind of rules is going to I mean send up women into into the streets. Right. And when that happens, when that look, have you ever? Do you know that you have more what what is called um, baby mamas? There was nothing like that in those days. When you are bringing out this kind of a rule, it will sooner send them, I mean, into the street. And when that happens, government will not be able to handle Thank it. You put your hands together. Thank you very much. <laughs> we can't go further, but we have to take this home now. And if you're just joining us, you have missed out a lot. Mm -hmm. But not to worry. You can still enjoy the last part. This is still the big... <laughs> the audience is waiting now we shall be concluding with the guest speakers giving the last take on the issue you are still watching the big issue. now uh Muritala, very quickly thank you your final note okay my final note uh, please um i want you to please uh, leave this argument please and help the generation next if we continue the way you are proposing we're going to have more breaking home more marriage is thrown into the gutter and we don't want that to happen this is africa we don't rape a woman, we love a woman. Alalade, <laughs> your final note quickly. The fear of having broken homes have kept a lot of wives silent, you know, um, about marital rape. And so we actually have ghost marriages around. They are together, but the wife is not happy. But for the sake of the society, they keep quiet and then they keep up the front. I would say that since you keep on hammering on and on about the money that you paid for the bride price, why not keep that money and then give it to someone every time you need sex who would not argue with you instead of paying the bride price and expecting the woman to suffer in silence or to consent every time that you want. Marital rape is real. <laughs> Marital rape. Marital rape is very, very, very real. And a lot of women are suffering. And it is time that we should have a law that supports a woman coming out to say the truth about what she's suffering in marriage. Oh, Oftentimes, serious, marital man. rape goes with violence, goes with threats, goes with subjection and with uh, suppression, goes with a lot of things, psychological abuse, emotional abuse, sometimes financial abuse. And it is time that we take a stand, stand. to stop marital rape. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, as it is right now, we, we could always go on and on, but we have to stop it here. But uh, in the culture of the Big Issue Show, we always have that moment you guys come together and <laughs> shake hands. <laughs> All right. just, just shake hands. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> come on, put your hands together for that one together. <laughs> conversation on our social media handles TV, at TVC Connect and at TVC News Nigeria. My personal handle is Mac Otabo. It's one word, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Of course, we would always enjoy you and we would always engage you with a hashtag. And wherever you are, if you're thinking of embarking on an intellectual quest, always remember to tune in to the big... Thank you very much. Peace. <laughs>